Well, we made it to Nashville. Yeah. That's the good news. Mm-hmm. Now, it's supposed to be a four and a half hour travel day today. Well, we expected five with a stop for gas and bathroom. Yeah, we got behind the slowest guy possible Absolutely. at the truck stop. Mm-hmm. So we were there for over half an hour at the truck stop. And then weather. Weather, yes. Rain moved in. So our four and a half hour Traffic. day turned into about a six hour travel day. Maybe a little more than six a little hours. Over six. Um, and weather's still still hitting. So I'm, I'm, you don't know if you can see it or not, but so I'm you, wet. Yeah. I'm, I'm drying off a little bit. Up. It's still bad weather. Still bad weather. It's going to be bad weather for a while. Uh, here's what the radar looks like right now and we are the little blue dot over to the far right and so we have a bunch of red goodness coming headed our way the long travel days don't do good for us ever no ever i don't know why we keep trying it it's just not good it's and never something good. did break <laughs> and yeah something did break we um it was the what is it a command hook it's command interlocking Velcro. strips Strips. Yes. We yeah. only have two glass things in this whole house. We only have one now. Because <laughs> that one broke today. It was I the know. picture that we have hanging of Lauren in the hallway. Which is making me think I should just go ahead and change out the glass that we still have left. Yeah. If possible. So, yeah, it's been held up there by this, this command strip thing for two and a half years. I had a good so, run. I guess the adhesive just finally wore off. and there We've was, had some really hot days, so, I mean, that yeah. warms the walls. Scout is settled in. He, he don't like it, man. He's pissed. Oh, he knows what mama's got, though. Make it better. Mm. Mommy, make it better. Worms will make it better. There we go. Oh, all my travel day worries go away with worms. It's right there, but <laughs> there it, <is. laughs> it was a baby. While we're staying in Nashville, we're staying at the Grand Ole RV Resort. As this is like... These are like not pull throughs, but like pull in because the road comes this way. We just pull off to the side there. So that's where we're at. And we're at the very front. There's nobody in front of us. So we don't got to worry about that. We can back up, hook up, and then just go straight out there to the road. Jerry and Teresa are back here. And the other good part is this is a new section. The last time we were here, we were here about four years ago. This section didn't exist. But. There's not a lot of traffic up here, so there's not a lot of people like driving past our RVs on a daily basis, making a lot of noise. And we don't have neighbors on this side because it's just this grassy hill. And you can see Scout is out here looking at the flowers. Mommy's taking for a walk. Some of the cool things about this resort is that they have live music here every night. So you have some of your folks who are like wishful up and comers in Nashville, I guess. Just want a place to play they get an opportunity here at uh, the grand old rv resort and they serve dinner here every night different menu uh, tonight we're having pizza i think but today we're going to explore nashville yes and we're going to start right here at the parthenon last time we were here it was closed for renovation, for renovation so we didn't get to see it yeah it was one of our very first stops ever full-time rving yeah and so um we did a lot of stuff when we were in Nashville last time, but this time we're doing different stuff. Yeah. We are going to do the hop on, hop off bus tour, which is convenient because it takes you to all of the cool places. Yeah, the key little stops you want to see. And um, we've actually been to the real yes. Parthenon in Greece. What's it's left of the real what's Parthenon? What's left of it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at these columns. Holy crap. Can't do that very long. Oh, vertigo starts kicking in. <laughs> mostly just artwork in here oh no that's creepy dude oh my god she's following me and when you walk into the main hall upstairs boom athena just to give you an idea how big she is this is nike that she's holding in her hand that statue that she's holding in her hand is six foot four inches tall taller than me so that picture me standing in her hand and that's how big she is. Holy crap. These doors each weigh seven and a half tons. They are six and a half feet wide, 24 feet high, and one foot thick. And they swivel on these, these brass spinners just to, just to be able to get them open. Upon further investigation and some helpful placards, we know that she is over 41 feet tall and she is covered in 24 karat leaf gold 
And then the white parts are painted an ivory color for her skin over the, the gold leaf. Hey, Leslie, coming down these big stairs. <laughs> With their little bitty legs. <laughs> Going up worse. You know, over there, right right there, there's, there's little ones. Shut your face. <laughs> Uh, so now we're on the hop on hop off trolley tour and we're gonna go exploring the rest of Nashville. Yes. link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15%. And all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. Well, we just got off the bus. Uh, we went past a couple of interesting things. We went past Vanderbilt University. And the bus drivers on these hop on hop off tours, they have, they have interesting facts that they tell you while you're going through the tour. And uh, so they did mention that Vanderbilt himself never stepped foot on Vanderbilt University property. He, uh, he put forth all the money for it and he died before it was finished so he didn't get to get to see what he created. And then uh, we went down Music Row, 16th and 17th Avenue. That's where all of the, the recording and producing happens in Nashville. Then not just, not just for here, but 60% of all music produced in the country is produced right here in Nashville. And that's not just for country music, that's for all kinds of music, and not just for music, but for commercials, for games, uh, elevators. elevators, all kinds of cool stuff. So, um, and it just looks like a neighborhood. It looks like houses when you're driving through there. It doesn't look like these would be studios, but they are, or producers. And outside, you will see like signs of who has recorded there. Not everybody that's recorded there, but like most, like recent attributes so if they were like producer of the year or they had like a number one hit album or a song their sign and their picture will be out front so as you can see that that's where they recorded that song and oh, we're on the pedestrian bridge now this is yeah. one of our favorite spots in nashville yeah. the views are amazing Pretty from up here, here. Yeah. You, this is the best spot that you can see the skyline and the stadium, stadium. and everything uh, the river of yeah. course um it's just nice. It's a mm -hmm. nice walk and it's a nice day today too. So yeah, it's nice to take a little take a little stroll. Looks like they're gonna do a uh, Grand Prix race. Yeah, in a couple weeks. Here in Nashville. Yeah. Got all the drivers posted up here on the on the pedestrian bridge. I'm not a Grand Prix guy. More of a NASCAR dude. Yeah. But still cool that they're It'd gonna race cool down, to here. down here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna finish up on the pedestrian bridge and then we're gonna head down onto the strip and probably pop into a bar or two. Yep. Listen to a little bit of music, grab some lunch, yep. and then we'll head over to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yay! Well, Broadway is always fun, man. Yes, so and loud. <laughs> yeah, it is loud. You can't, tell, can't yeah, talk over there, so that's why we had to come over here. But it seems like everybody's got a restaurant now. Yeah. Uh, which all ones do we see? Well, Luke Bryan, Miranda Lambert, uh, John Rich. Yeah, Jason Kid Rock. Aldean, Kid Rock. Um, and then you got Tootsie's. Dirk's Bentley. We tried Dirk's to go in Dirk's Bentley's. They wouldn't let us in. I don't a, even get me started. We had a on GoPro, that. which is a production camera apparently. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I can just record my phone. He goes, phones are fine. Phones are fine. You can't have the GoPro. A GoPro is a production filming camera. So we went to eat at the uh, Lucky Bastard Saloon. Yeah. But it was, it was good. Cool. It was a cool place. I liked it. Great music. Couldn't yeah. log in there either, obviously, because the music was, was really, really yeah. loud. But um, I had the Nashville hot chicken sandwich because you can't come to Nashville without getting Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I can't. Yeah, you had. <laughs> she had wings. I had wings. So let me tell you a little bit about the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Okay. Um, Everybody comes to Nashville and goes to Hattie B's. Yeah. And it was. It, it's thought that Hattie B's is where it originated, but it's not. It originated, I don't remember the guy's name. Yeah. But anyway, he was like, he was like having some extracurricular marital Activity. activities. And his wife found out about it. Mm -hmm. And he came home and he was like, after, after stepping out on his wife, he comes home and has the gall to ask her to, to cook him some fried chicken. Yeah. So she already knows about this. She's all pissed. So she cooks him up some fried chicken and she mixes in Lots every hot, hot thing she could find. Yeah. 
and she <laughs> gives it to him and she sits across the table watching waiting him. for the carnage yeah just waiting for it to unfold and it turns out he loves it yeah he loves it he tells all we should be selling this yeah so he tells all his friends and his family and and they <laughs> made the recipe and the rest is history yeah so because this guy was cheating on his wife and his wife tried to get revenge we now have nashville hot chicken now i'm not gonna say that it was a good thing he cheated on his wife i'm not gonna say that <laughs> that's where you're trying to get no to no the point where it's, it's not always a, something bad but you got to hunt the good stuff <laughs> i see that you were <laughs> gonna find something something to make it a good reason this is beautiful out here in the park right in the middle you got a great 360 view of everything you got a, the hotel there you got the bridgestone arena where the nhl predators play and then you have the country music hall of fame and then you have some other hotels and the Bridgestone Tower is right there and then Pinnacle Tower is over here and uh, just very, very beautiful place, the AT&T Tower on that end. Um, but I'm standing here in the middle and the grass is beautiful. This is a beautiful park and this is a great opportunity to be able to see uh, a good view in, in all, every direction. Well, out here is the Country Music Walk of Fame. A lot of the inductees into the Hall of Fame have uh, little placards that are built into the sidewalk out here. And uh, I could have swore that last time we were here, they had like handprints and feet print of the celebrities. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe they just have these placards, I don't know. Well, they won't let you shoot any video inside the Country Music Hall of Fame. That's where we're at right now. But we will throw some pictures up on our Facebook and Instagram and we'll leave links down in the description. So you can go check out our pictures that we saw while we were here. We only just finished up at the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yep. No video. But it was great. Yeah. So many cool artifacts, guitars, wardrobes. Memorabilia, yeah. Yeah. It's really great. Like the handwritten. Like how they, when the song just hits them and they start writing it yeah. down, whatever is around them. Napkin, piece of notebook paper, whatever. Yeah. But they still, they're still there. It's yeah. crazy to it see that cool. when the moment hit them. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, lots of gold, platinum. Yeah. Records. Um, what else was there? It's Smokey and the Bandit's car. Yeah, that was weird to see there. They had Elvis's Cadillac. They, yeah. had, uh, they had a bunch of cool stuff in there. Yeah, well worth it. Yeah, a couple hours took us to go through there. And now we're going over to the Marathon Motor Works. Yeah. There's little shops and boutiques and hopefully some ice cream. Uh, some distillery, I think. Okay. There. Well, that was a short bus ride. <laughs> it was a very short bus ride. Uh, we got like two blocks and our bus hit a car <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta get off so we gotta get off and get on to the next trolley behind us yeah. so we are about to disembark <laughs> it wasn't bad he just he, he tail swung and hit it. it and the car was parked illegally yeah so if the car would have been parked illegally he would have never hit him yeah. but it is a slight inconvenience for us yeah that's unasty the seats okay all right we're on the new bus <laughs> and back on the road this is so funny <laughs> Well, we're at the Marathon Motor Works, and if you've watched the show American Pickers, this store right here is where they house a lot of the stuff that they've picked from the show. You can go in there and see that stuff, and they'll actually show you uh, a lot of the stuff, what episode it was picked in and what city it was picked in. Well, everything in here has been on the show, the Pickers, and uh, unless it's like t-shirts or stuff like that, but all the old stuff that you see, the signage, the old motorcycles, the old signs, the old Coke machines, Evil Cable's jacket, all this stuff has been featured on the show. So very cool to see all this stuff. And um, our bus tour, tour guide, our bus tour guide told us that they've also filmed a couple of episodes in here in the store. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.